Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be sharing my chili recipe with you. It is super easy and there's only a handful of ingredients. Anyone can make this. This is the chili recipe that I grew up on and my husband grew up on. And I'd say it takes about 10 minutes to make tops and it's really good. And always with my recipes, feel free to substitute anything like the tomato sauce or the chili beans or anything like that to your to suit your taste and suit your family's taste but this is how I make it and my entire family loves this chili and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy so stay tuned All right guys, so these are the ingredients that I use and I normally use a different brand. I think I use the McCormick brand of chili seasoning, but for whatever reason, when I was shopping at the store, that was the only brand they had in stock. So I just went with that. But yeah, this is what I use and you will use more or less cans of the tomato sauce and beans depending on your family size. But for our family of four, that's what works for us. And I'm really excited because I have teamed up with a company called CrowdCal and I can't wait to tell you guys about this service. So fun fact, my husband was actually born and raised on a farm and I was raised in the farming community. So if you've never had fresh meat that came straight from a local farm, then you do not understand how the taste is. It's just phenomenal and I can't explain to you the difference. So basically how CrowdCal works is they work with different farms around the United States and they do what is called tip a cow, which basically means that they go ahead and pre-sell all of the meat and all of the cuts from the cow. And once it's all sold, they go ahead and process it. But this system just ensures that your beef is extremely fresh. You will always know exactly where your meat is coming from. When you go on their website, you can even read all about the farmer and the farm before you decide to purchase. You can even decide between a grass-fed cow and a grain-fed cow. If you wanted to save a little money because this is buying meat in bulk, you could always split up your orders with family, friends, or neighbors. And yeah, so it's basically like buying your meat in bulk. So I have found that their prices are very comparable to the grocery store. For example, you can get 10 packs of one pound of ground beef for around $60 and shipping is always just $12.99. My favorite part about the company though, is the fact that they just support farmers in America and you're not buying your meat from some mass-produced facility where you don't even know where it's coming from. They support American farmers. They're supporting the small working man. And because we come from that community and my husband and stuff, my father-in-law was a farmer, it's just near and dear to my heart. And I like that I can feed my family something that I know where it's coming from. I know that it's healthy. And yeah, I just think that it's neat. And so a little bit about where our beef came from today. It's from a farm called Thistle Creek Farms and the farmer's name is George and he is actually a Vietnam veteran. He was a former Marine and ex-fighter pilot. How cool is that? I wanted to show you guys really quickly how it is packaged because that is important. The meat is flash frozen once it is processed and then it is sealed, vacuum sealed, and then they ship it with dry ice and it was frozen solid. So you don't have to worry about if you're gone for the day and this is gets delivered because it'll be totally fine. But they do package really excellent. I was really impressed and I'm just gonna show you guys once I get it out of the box here how it all is wrapped up very nicely with butcher's paper and it's just a really nice company and everything you get is going to be really handled with care and like I said you know exactly where it's coming from so definitely check out Crowd Cow guys I love it So I know someone is going to ask me where I get my pots and pans from and I actually have two sets of that pretty blue color that you guys know that I love and one is from I believe Rachel Ray and then the other one is like a green wise or something like that from Walmart 
but I do not recommend either one. They are absolutely beautiful, but they do not hold up well. That stuff inside has chipped and the, um, the other ones have like a ceramic or supposedly a ceramic inside and they just do not hold up very well. So I don't know. I don't like them. I don't recommend them. They are pretty and I always get questions, but yeah, I don't recommend them. So I think I'm going to tell Santa Claus that mommy needs a new set of pans and I have my eye on this copper set at Kohl's and I know one of my subscribers recommended it to me and because she has it and she loves it and I've had my eye on it so I might get me a new set for Christmas but I'll definitely let you guys know if I do and if I like them. So I'm just mixing everything together here in the pan and I just have it still on low so it can kind of all heat up together. At this point, once you have all the ingredients in, you could just go ahead and serve. You don't have to let it cook together. I will let it sit all together for maybe five minutes, but it doesn't really make a huge difference if you're in a hurry and you just need to go ahead and serve it to your family, then it's not gonna make much of a difference. So I just wanna let you know that that wasn't crucial to how it tastes or anything. So I just mix everything in there at the end and it's done and I'm going to show you at the end how I like to I guess what the toppings and stuff that I like to put on my chili oh and I forgot to tell you guys it has been actually two years since I made my chili recipe because we ate it so much that we actually got sick of it but when my husband sat down I was really curious to see his reaction seeing as how I used the crowd cow meat and he was like oh my gosh this is so good thank you so much and he packed up a bunch of it for leftovers so yeah, it was a hit with my family. So definitely check out Crowd Cow. I'll have their information linked for you below. And thank you so much, Crowd Cow, for partnering up with me on today's video. I am very honored to work with a company like yours. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you put in your chili if you do eat chili. I always crush up some saltines and put cheddar cheese in there. That's the way I've always done it. Is that weird? Do you guys do that? Or what do you put in your chili? Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like cooking videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.